Good morning, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our word is going to come from Proverbs chapter 2. Now, many of you know uh, today I'm having surgery. As a matter of fact, there's a better not chance while you're watching this um, that I already am, you know, had either ha having the surgery or, or having the surgery. But uh, nonetheless, uh, while I thought about this, I thought about, you know, one of the things I've always prayed whenever I've had to go in for a medical procedure or for anybody else for that matter was that God would grant the doctor's wisdom. Now, it may seem like a silly thing to pray for because you go, well, yeah, you know, and I mean, uh, you know, no, it's not silly to pray for. But honestly, what's the odds of that doctor being a believer? I mean, if that doctor's a believer, praise be to God, God can grant him his wisdom. But can God give wisdom to those who don't know him? Well, obviously he can. And we read that actually in Proverbs chapter 2. Uh, I want to read uh, verse 6, if you would. And then I want to add verse 7 at the end of this. So Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6, we read these words. It says, For the Lord God giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. See, the point of the matter is, really in all honesty, when we get down to it, there is no wisdom outside of God. So if anybody has an understanding, whether they be a believer or an unbeliever, it's only from God. Only God grants the wisdom. God created the mind. God created all, 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 all mankind. So obviously we know that everything that comes, uh, comes from the Lord. So he can give wisdom to those doctors, though they may not his, be not his children. They may not have the wisdom, the true wisdom that comes in knowing them as their Savior, but they can have some knowledge and some understanding on how to deal with things and how to take care of us, and it can be God-granted. We think about how God dealt with Pharaoh. We think about God, how God dealt with Nebuchadnezzar, how God dealt with men, leaders in the Old Testament and leaders of this day, and how God can actually intervene. But why would God intervene? Well, honestly, the answer comes in verse 7. Because verse 7 says, He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He's a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Now, I love that idea of the buckler. He's the one who's actually the one who's in control. He's the one taking care of for who? Those who walk uprightly. So sometimes God has to grant things to people who don't know him, who are not his children, who have not trusted in his salvation through his son, Jesus Christ, yet. Why? To take care of his children, those who walk uprightly. So we can pray over those things. We can pray for our doctors. We can pray for wisdom for them. We can pray for unbelievers, knowing that God it is that grants those things. It's not of themselves. It's not of their own, uh, uh, whatever the case may be. No matter what their belief system may be, we know that God is the one who grants. And oftentimes he grants this to them. Why? That they might take care of his children. So I hope this encourages you today. No matter what you're facing, no matter who you're coming against, just pray for God to give wisdom, not only to my, obviously, my doctor today, but also to, to the, our leaders, to, the, to, to our nation, to, to our local uh, leaders, to, the, to uh, those who are in charge, even to your own boss, who may not be a believer, but maybe God can grant them some wisdom so that he can deal uprightly with your boss, your, your Lord can deal uprightly through your boss with you. I hope this encourages you today. I love you. We love you, God loves you, and God's got this.